everybody, Gigi here. Wanna know if you for being here if this is your first time and you decide to watch all of the video thank you and make sure you hit the like and the subscribe button so let me tell you what i've got going on today i have a sign order it's a 22 by 36 and uh i'm having to glue up my own boards today so that's going to be something new that you haven't seen me do yet which i guess i cheated because i've already got them glued <laughs> but at least I can show you what it looks like. So here it is. It's a 22 by 36. And um, I had this six foot cedar board and I cut it in half. And I usually have a man that um, cuts and planes and sands my wood for me. But because of the coronavirus, everybody has to stay away from everybody. So... I hope this turns out. <laughs> but let me show you what I've got. It's Type Bond 3 wood glue. It's for it's waterproof exterior and interior. So I've got a whole lot of glue on there and I had to go and buy me some more clamps because I didn't have enough. And uh I had to seriously I had to watch YouTube videos on how to glue up boards, and I called my good sawdust brother, Frank Jenkins, and he gave me a few pointers, and he's the one who told me about Top Pond. <laughs> Thank you, Frank. So, anyway, y'all stay tuned. Um, it'll be a few days because I need to really make sure this is glued up good because we've had such cold weather, hot weather, cold weather, hot weather, and I want to make sure this board is good and tight. So, y'all stay tuned for the next scene, and I will show you what the layout is. Okay, everybody, be. I'm back. It's been two days. It is Saturday, April 18th, and it is freezing out here. I mean, come on. <laughs> when are we going to get some warm weather? But my boards have been glued up for two days now, so let me show you. I already took the clamps off. I'm sorry. I wasn't thinking about filming that, but let me show you what we've got. I'm going to be using my DeWalt palm sander. I'm going to start out with 60 grit. And uh, I think it turned out amazing. Um, that's my first glue up. I'm so proud. So I was going to originally use a belt sander. But I went to go and get the sanding pads. And apparently the coronavirus has everybody hoarding the sanding pads as well. <laughs> Why not blame it on that? Blaming everything else on it. So, let me show you, um, I'm going to sand a little bit with 60 grit. show y'all everything me sanding because I'm gonna have to do it several times but I just wanted y'all just to see but everybody look I am so excited and proud of course I gotta still go over several times so but guys this turned out great y'all stay tuned for the next scene and I will hey, show you the I light. thought I would show this because I have a little spot here that has that in it and i'm not for sure if my letters are going to be over that so i thought i'd show up how i'm going to make my own filler with the type bond three and got some 
sawdust out of my bag here and make up my own. Sorry, y'all, but everywhere. Um, but this is so much better, you know, than having to buy it. You can just make your own filler here. And so when that's good and dry, which shouldn't take real long, you just sand over it. And then you'll have it like it's brand new. There was nothing ever there. So anyway, I just thought I would show that little trick there because I know there's a lot of people that are just starting out. And I didn't know whenever I first started. So I thought I would pass that on. Okay, be right back. Okay, everybody, here it is. Buchanan Cemetery in memory of, supposed to say, M.T. Pope and Ernest West, but I did not have enough layout letters, so I've got to rob. Um, they wanted a cross on both sides, so I drew one here, so after I spray that side, I will know where to put it on this side. Um, I didn't have big enough uh, layout letters for the Buchanan Cemetery, so I had a fellow woodworker. Um, I guess it's been about four months ago, Old Man Bay Signs. You can find him on Instagram and Facebook. Um, very good carver. Um, but he had told me about the Cricut Maker. And, of course, I'm on a budget and I could not afford one outright. They're like $400. Um, but I went to Home Shopping Network and you can make monthly payments. So, if anybody um, is looking to buy a Cricut Maker, I suggest... If you don't have the money, you can make payments. Three, I made three monthly payments, and bam, mine is paid off. And now I make it, I'm not going to lie, it was a nightmare trying to learn it, but now that I've somewhat learned it, because the only thing I want to do is make stencils. And another little uh, tip, I get this, instead of using the regular vinyl, I go to Dollar Tree, and this is shelf lining paper. And I always like to get the brown if they have it because, of course, you can see it really good. And then I also use the clear shelf lining paper. And that way um, you can transfer it onto this. So that makes my cost cheaper than having to buy the regular vinyl. Because this stuff gets expensive, especially when you're learning. And I have went through so much. And I found that tip from somebody else. I don't remember. Um, but anyway, what we're going to do now... Flat black primer, and you're just going to lightly mist over that, so that way you can have your layout. So stay tuned, and I'll show All you. All right, here we go with it sprayed, and I already did the MT Pope and the Ernest West. I ended up doing them with my profile bit right there. I didn't have anybody to film me doing that. So, y'all are just getting to see it like that. But, I am going to let y'all watch me do some of the other. I'm going to do the cross, both of the crosses. I always start with everything that is hard, that I think is going to be hard first. And these small letters were hard. <laughs> okay, here we go. So, I have my profile bit in. And, I'm going to let y'all watch me. Do the cross. I'm still undecided if I want this in outset or inset. I'm leaning more towards inset because the Buchanan and Cemetery is all going to be in outset. So, I think I'm going to do them inset. But I'm going to at least let y'all watch me trace. Oh! And I don't know if y'all watched my other videos or not. Anybody that's new. But look, I got my husband to modify it. So now, maybe y'all can see me when I am routering. So let's try it out and see. Put you down. I never made it, but I know I did take some motivated by a mix of emotion. Got my statement, and I'm reading it slow so I can understand it fully. Appreciate my standing go. Let's see. Can y'all see that? All right. I took, I went around. 
I hope y'all can see it. I'll have to watch the video. I, w I went around, and what I'm going to end up using is my 90 degree V groove bit, and I'm going to go in there and clean that out. So y'all stay All tuned. Right, I'm back. This. So now what I'm going to do is the Buchanan and the Cemetery, and I'm going to do them in outset letters. And what I like to do mine with is a 60 degree V groove bit. A lot of people use their profile bit and go around. You can do either one. It doesn't matter. It's just whatever you prefer. Me personally, I prefer using my 60 degree. So let me put this down. I can tell by your smile You hadn't been with a good girl like me in a while Alright I went around The letter Can you see it? Where are you? I seriously need my daughter out here So I've made my first pass around I always make two passes so I made my first pass around, and after I get all this carved on the outset, I'm going to take my 90 degree V groove bit, and I'm going to go and clean this up. But I'm jumping ahead of myself, so I will be back in a few minutes, and y'all will see what's next. I got it all carved out and I already blew it out but I forgot to show y'all you need to go in and get a brush and just go all around it that way any loose pieces that might still be in there you'll blow over it again and what I'm gonna do next the flat black primer don't forget about that gonna go in and spray and this is the textured background, and we're going to spray it black, and we're going to spray the letters black. I'm still not for sure what I want to do with each one of my crosses. Um, I don't know if I want them black, so I'm going to actually cover them up before I spray, because I don't know. I'm just feeling like that might need to be something different. So, y'all stay tuned. Every single day. All right, got it all sprayed. Um, brought it out here in the sun so it would dry quicker. And then I'm gonna sand it off. We are gonna sand with 60 grit with my palm sander. Here we go. <laughs> sand it off so let's blow it off and see the reveal
That looks pretty good. I'm still debating on what I'm going to do with my crosses. So I guess y'all just have to hang on and Happy we'll see. Happy Monday, everybody. Well, here it is. 22 by 36 Buchanan Cemetery. In memory of M.T. Pope and Ernest West. Now remember, on the outset letters, I went with the 60 degree V-groove bit. And for the textured background, I used my 90 degree V-groove bit. Oh, and I also decided to leave the crosses the natural wood color. And I'm so glad I did because it just turned out beautiful. My customer decided she wanted a pretty border. So I used um, a 45 degree chamfer bit. I'm so sorry I forgot to film this, but she wanted scallop edges all the way around. So I put them on the front and back so that way everybody from the back will see how beautiful it looks as well. Five coats of polyurethane on it to help protect it. And that's what gives it that beautiful shine and sparkle. So I'd like to thank Emily West for having me do this. And thank you, Lord. If there's anything that y'all would like me to do or you have something special, just send me a message or leave me a comment. And we'll see what we can do. Remember, if you like this video, hit the like and the subscribe button. Until next time, have a blessed day.